Hi everyone, Rach here from Book Piles. Welcome to my March haul. And what a haul. <laughs> uh, I brought quite a lot of books. Um, I just, I don't even know where to start. I've got a list, I've got my, oh dear. I've got a list to help me figure it out. And I've got my Kindle open to help me figure it out. So, um, I'll start with... Uh, if you watched my February haul, I talked about getting America's First Daughter, but it hadn't arrived by the time I filmed. It has now arrived. I do not think, possibly it's the same binding. It doesn't look like it's the same binding as the, the version from the library that I liked so much. But anyway, that I got, just wanted to show that I had actually physically got it. Um, because I was watching when I was into this re reading that book I think I watched the Oprah clip where um, some of Thomas Jefferson's white and black descendants met um, and in that program they also had a guy who um, had tracked down the descendants of the slaves his family owned and wrote a book about it and that intrigued me so I brought that book which is called Slaves in the Family by Edward Ball um, I haven't uh, started to read it or anything like that yet because that's still got book depository stuff in it um, so yeah this this is his account of basically finding the, today it was written in 1999 I believe I think there is an update in the forward but or forward um yeah it looks interesting um if you're interested in that sort of thing it's a non-fiction obviously and also talked about in the same program was another book uh called hidden in plain sight um and this is talks about um the secret story of quilts and the underground railroad um so that I, again i think i had read um, Indigo which is hardly a top-notch book about the Underground Railroad but still um, and it was mentioned in this Oprah program um, and so I thought that sounded quite interesting I've looked at the pictures so far the pictures uh, don't thrill me I have to say uh, in that the pictures don't um, talk enough about the quilt patches and what each patch meant direction wise and things like that so hopefully the words will <laughs> but anyway then I brought um, uh, quite a lot of historical romances I started out how, how will I do this Let, let's just just take them off the pile um, firstly amazingly uh, in the local bookshop in my little town in New Zealand they had thank you Bridgerton thank you Julia Quinn they had brand new mass market paperback historical romances unheard of um, there were two shelves it had did not have the full Bridgerton series which I've got here um, but it, what it did have is what they're now billing um, I guess the publishers are billing as a Bridgerton prequel, but I believe the series used to be called The Rokes Brief. Um, I'm sure that's it. So I, I think I've got this in the right order, but I could be wrong. So I've got First Comes Scandal. They're all Julia Quinn's, obviously. The Other Miss Bridgerton. Uh, the Girl with the Make-Believe Husband. That intrigues me and because of Miss Bridgerton um, and these are all brand new and what did I do with my brand new book I spilled a glass of water all over the table <laughs> so I'm not going in order of how I brought these um, I'm just pulling them off the pile I had some time to kill between some appointments, so I went to um, a second-hand bookshop that I frequent that has quite a good shelf of, ma of um, historical romances, and I just pulled off, um, I didn't have a lot of time, so I went, I actually looked at names of authors rather than the 
uh, title except one for one because it jumped out at me as being this is probably westerny type so I got a Tessa Dare twice tempted by a rogue um, none of these I do believe have got step oh no that one does um, I got another Beverly Jenkins Destiny's Embrace I'm not going to go into what each one is about because uh, it will take too long uh, and I'm already on half a battery. <laughs> I got Joanna Lindsay Angel and that does have a step back. Um, I got, if you watched um, my historical romance reader tag, uh, there were two authors that I needed to read that I hadn't read. One was Beverly Jenkins, which I've now read one of, and I've got a second one. And the other was Lisa Kleypas. And uh, they were, she had two. So I got um, Stranger in My Arms and, again, The Magic. I'm going to have to rush a little bit because the battery is flashing. I got Elizabeth Hoyt, uh, Thief of Shadows. And this one I got because of the name. It's called Night Walker. I think I looked at the cover. Um, it's by Sylvie Summerfield. Um, and I, it'll be Western orientated in it. So it has a step back. Bit of a risque top, I have to say. <laughs> um, then I actually brought two off our version we don't have trade me in new zealand we are uh, sorry we don't have ebay in new zealand we have trade me and i went and had a little look and there was someone selling two uh historical romances to eva lee's so i got forever my love and the mackenzie's cleave and in the parcel when it arrived there was also susan enoch's by love undone that pile's going to fall. Uh, I happened to be looking in a bookshop um, and they had some Lucinda Riley's and I'm trying to collect her backlist. I have quite a lot of her books here on this shelf. Uh, and they had two of them that I was looking for. So I got Hot House Flower and they had them at a good price, which is why I got them. And The Angel Tree excuse me by my calculations i'm missing one okay now to try and figure out i'm going to actually rather than look at my kindle i brought quite a few on my kindle fancy read cover um i'm going to refer to the list and hopefully i won't repeat myself um okay i got two loretta chases it doesn't tell me what they are uh okay because it's the battery is flashing we're just going to keep going i got a lot i will endeavor to put pictures try and pause and put pictures so the two loretta chases then i got the fulfillment by laverle spencer I got the four part, all four parts of The Wolf Hall by K.A. Tucker. Uh, While the Duke Was Sleeping by Suze, uh, Sophie Jordan. And that is, by the sound of it, a, if you know the movie While You Were Sleeping with Sandra Bullock, that sounds very much like what this book is. And I love that movie, so that should be interesting. Uh, I got Her Night with the Duke by Diana Quincy. Uh, the Three Books in the Castles Ever After series by Tessa Dare. Um you'll see by the covers <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I've talked about, oh yeah, uh, Beverly Jenkins Indigo I've got and I read that. What else have we got over here? Um, and then those ones are all the ones I've talked about. So hopefully that is everything I got. I apologize for being a little bit rushed, but the battery is telling me to shut up. <laughs> um, it should be 25 books. Uh, I will just leave a little pause. Just in case I did forget any. <laughs> I will slot the pictures in. Um, by my count, I brought 25 books. So, um, yeah, that is that. Right, I'm going to cut and run before the camera cuts me out altogether. Uh, and I will catch you again in another video shortly. Thanks, everyone. Bye for now.